Hello everyone. I am going to attempt to get rid of a musty odor that just started up after my unit decided to go back into air conditioning mode after it's been in heating mode through the winter. But this particular model is a complete package unit that stays on the outside of the house. So anyhow, this is the evaporator coil. Not to be confused with condenser coils, which is right here. Um, earlier I had cleaned the condenser oil with a sulfuric acid um, cleaner that was designed for such but the sulfuric acid is definitely not recommended for these coils so I will be using this product here that I purchased at Lowe's and also has great reviews on Amazon as well but uh, it's cheaper at Lowe's so I'm gonna be spraying it on these coils and let it sit for a little while and then I'm gonna carefully wash it off because as you can see that's my ductwork that goes into the house and we definitely don't want to have any unnecessary moisture in there if we can help it because that will only lead to other issues down the road so I'm gonna stop here and uh, spray it down and then we'll be right back okay I just finished spraying down one side of the evaporator coils um, I tried to get in there as best I can, but as you can tell, it's kind of a, spot, a tight spot, so I'm going to count on that stuff slowly dripping down towards the bottom where I couldn't reach too well. But I'm going to try to record while I spray this a little bit, but as I shake it, there's no action to where there's an agitator ball. This seems like the can is completely under pressure, but I'll stick my hand up down in here and um, spray away. And it's best if you start at the bottom. I have found after going to the other side, or doing the other side, it just seems to work better that way. Now, once it starts making that air sound, what you're going to need to do is spray at the top to kind of get get the whatever the air out of the line or whatever, and it goes back to spraying good again. So you can go back down and spray like this because um, if you spray like this, it'll spray all day until it runs out. But if you spray like this, you'll start getting air in it, and it won't it won't it'll want to stop, and you don't want that to happen. So just alternate it back and forth as you hear that airy sound coming out of the can. So I'm going to finish spraying this up and we'll be back. Alright, so about a minute or so later, this is the other side that I got done. Now, online, especially on their uh, pictures and suggestions on Amazon, it says that if using on the evaporator coil here, that you don't have to wash it off. And uh, I think I may take that advice only because I really do not want to add any moisture that may accumulate down there in the ductwork and just believe that I'm going to let this booger just gradually um, do its thing and um, and clean on its own and uh, just leave the unit off for a couple hours and luckily it's a nice day today it's in the 60s so perfect temperature so it shouldn't need to cut on but by tomorrow it definitely will be because I suppose it'll warm up another 10 degrees but anyhow I did have to go to can number two because can number one ran out um, I got almost probably 75 to 80 percent of it done before I needed to get just a little bit out of that can there to get the rest of it but in order to get to your evaporator coil on this unit and like I said every unit's different but this one was really simple um, you just had to loosen bolts there was one bolt there and then there was a bolt here on this corner and then there was two on the back back there and then you have several bolts like here and you have several right there and up there and then there was an there's one there and then one over there on that top edge and then there's one here and then one here so you have to take all those out you would, in my case i needed both a quarter inch and a 5 16th nut driver um, I don't know why on the back two they were quarter inch, but the rest of them were five sixteenths. So um, anyhow, that's all the tools you're going to need in order to take that top off, which is right there. Now, this was the first time I had to remove this because this unit's less than two years old. And uh, so this there was sort of a seal right here. So I had to slowly pry all that open. And when I did, I discovered this right here was a little wet, which is a little 
concerning to me and maybe where I was getting that musty smell from and it's also right here in this channel and as you can see right here though is where there's a gasket so I'm going to probably clean this out before I seal this booger back up and then uh, we'll be good and hopefully this will fix the musty odor smell that I got when my unit kicked on the other day when it warmed up a good bit so um I hope this helps someone and um, you know another recommendation if you don't have it and you live under a lot of trees like I do oak trees is I bought this mesh um, grill protector that kind of keeps the leaves out which it has done an excellent job at um, usually every year I would have inches thick of leaves down there and there's just very few down there and um, that's definitely saving me a lot of man hours cleaning that out every every year and i i had to make a makeshift one over here using hardware cloth on this unit and it's it's also done its thing you just want to keep in mind that um you want to find a happy medium in terms of your mesh count because if it's too big a hole everything's going to fall through but if it's too too tight of a pattern um you're going to put um stress on your fan and you could overheat your motor and cause your motor to fail prematurely so this one here i believe was a quarter inch um, pattern and it's done great it hasn't caused any overheating or any issues and i've had these um, two uh, i'll call them leaf protectors on for you know well over a year now without any issues so again i hope this helps someone and as you can see that foam is evaporating so definitely i'm not going to wash this stuff off um and just uh, do like they recommended and just let it be um, to not add any excess moisture to that area because as you can see there's a lot of electronics in here as well that we don't want to mess with so hope this helped once more and uh, I am signing off thanks